Hey everybody, Cynthia Maynard here from CynthiaMaynard.com and I have, I don't know if you've seen any of my hauls from the past, but I had one of these little journaling books that I had picked up, I think at Target, it came in like a set of three, and this is great, it can be used to jot down notes, uh, write poetry, um, keep a journal, um, school related, whatever the case may be, and so I thought we would alter this in sort of a simpler, quick way. And I was really inspired by this sort of um, distressed um, paper here from Kay and Company that I had gotten in a recent haul. And I'm going to go ahead and tear this piece out. I'm kind of going for a um, kind of going for uh, you know sort of a fashion slash shabby chic look today. And so. Um, it's got kind of a little bit of a mess here. I've been experimenting, but let me get the glare off here. So we have our journal, and that measures my ruler out here. So this measures about eight inches by almost five. So it's like four and seven eighths. I mean, it's very close to that. So, um, so we want to cut our paper to about that much as you are altering a journal is what you're going to use it for. You want it to have a practical element about it that it will be able to uh, open up and uh, not that you can't have dimension on the front, but you want people to be able to actually use it or yourself if it's for you. So um, keeping that in mind, I've got this piece that I cut down and it's just gorgeous and I love the fact that the craft, I like that neutral because you can take it in lots of different directions. I'm going to use my state-of-the-art Dollar Tree <laughs> um, dollar of foot thingy here and I'm going to distress the edges that's why it's safer for me to use this than scissors because I'm very clumsy alright uh, you can ink the edges if you want um, I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with this I'm going to hear that down I want something strong because, um, again, this is going to have to endure the test of time and be open to closed and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and put score tape on there. You could use whatever uh, you feel most comfortable with. So we're sort of tapping into our textile world here. Uh, and you'll see what I mean in a second. I'm making use of my Silhouette Cameo 3, which I'm loving and the potential that all the files there. Alright, so I'm just simply going to adhere this down. Super pretty. Like that. It's going to have a very boutique feel. The file I used for my Silhouette Cameo 3 is this dress form. And uh, I love it. I love the quarterfoil, or however you say that, um, pattern there, and the necklace. And you know, I put this, I cut this out on gold Nina paper. And you've probably seen me use that before in projects. And it's just the right size. I scaled it um, so that it would be about the size. Actually, when I was doing it, I was just cutting it out to see how I liked it and it was too big for a card so I thought you know what I'm going to put it on a journal so I'm going to do that and I'm also going to use um, some paper that I have from Mariposa mat stack and so I used um, let's see if I can find it I used this one because I loved that light blush uh, pattern against the black and white and gold very Chanel, you know, sort of feel. And then I also used that pink, and it's got some butterflies and so forth. Um, and what I did was I used a Tim Holtz uh, Tattered Florals. Um, no, I didn't. What was, what was I going to use? I thought about using that. It was another Bigs dye. Uh, Camellia, maybe? I think. But it cuts out um, leaves and uh, flowers, and because of the narrowness of the mat stack size, I <laughs> couldn't quite fit 
all of them on. So I've got sort of a montage that I'm going to make up. And so that's going to go there. Go ahead and use my Stampin' Up! Fine Tip glue pen, which I love. And I'm going to put some glue on there. You could use whatever you're comfortable with using. I just want to be able to get some of this area here. So make a great gift with Christmas coming. If you're looking for something personalized um, to give someone. Maybe they're into fashion. Maybe they're they just love pretty boutique -y sort of things. Um, you can go ahead and make this for them. Just to adhere these, you could use a, a glue gun if you want. You just want to be careful not to soak through the back here. So um, let's see. I might use glue dots too. I might use a plethora of <laughs> of those things. Alright, so I have some miscellaneous leaves that I need to first glue down to my um, bottom flower here. So I'm just going to kind of get, I wanted some in-between leaves like that. In nature, flowers aren't completely flat, obviously. Um, but because it's on a journal, we want to be mindful of the um, dimension. Okay? To go in the middle, I have these. I've gotten these from Tuesday morning months and months and months ago for nine cents. sense. They're these metal stickers, and they have two silver and two gold. So I'm going to go ahead and use the fleur de lis here in the bronzy gold. It's like an antique gold, I guess you could call that. And, hmm? That comes right off. That's kind of useless. I think we're going to have to switch that out. Or you could adhere it with a glue that metal will stick to. I'll put two glue dots on there because again we want it to be secure. I'm loving how this is turning out. And then that'll be our centerpiece when we go to adhere our flower on. Put a couple few on because, again, we're looking for stability. Um, we don't know what the journal will face. All right, so be careful putting that down. We're going to overlap just a little. And again, you could, you know, go ahead and crinkle these up a little bit. Adds to the shabby effect. You could have distressed the edges of these flowers, ink them. Um, you know, what else would have been cute too? You could have dipped them, ran your Versamark around the edges of them, and embossed them. That might be too much gold. I don't know. Can you have too much gold? I don't know. And, um... I had these gold puppy stickers from Tuesday morning a long time ago, and I thought that maybe, um, you know, if, if you wanted to use this as <clears throat> a journal, you could put right now down there, and so I was going to use uh, that one, and that will just stick right on there. Um, so we'll put our, kind of want to hover here, maybe we'll do it like that. And since when we journal, if you're going to use this for a journal, it's like what what our life is doing right now. And if you've ever kept a journal, which I recommend you do, and you go back a year or two and you read it, it's it's pretty fascinating. Um, it's kind of neat to see the things in your life, the successes, the failures, what you've learned uh, from those things. And, um, yeah. So, all right. And that's basically all there is to it. That was super simple, right? I mean, we just take a, a booklet that we already know. Look, we can open it up with ease. It's not inhibiting anything to write on, and I think that turned out pretty fun. Um, yeah, 
I like it. <laughs> I'm going to be making some more of these. Great Christmas gifts. If you're looking for a quick gift to do, that took all of what's our video on 15 minutes, but I'm going to be editing this down. So really, because I'm making the video, it took a little longer than it would take you. So, so 10, 15 minutes, and you have a personalized handmade gift for somebody um, and you, that you can't buy in the store. So in terms of decorating it and it's fun. It gives you a chance to play with your stuff and be creative, which is a gift, by the way. Being creative is a gift. And use it, use it, use it. It's good for your mind. It's good for um, lots of things. And it gives us a peaceful time, especially during our world of tumultuous uh, ideas. Uh, we need a little peace and, and creativity. So anyway, guys, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you like altered product or projects, rather, and um, go visit my website at CynthiaMaynard.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.